This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar covering audio techniques inside Apple Final Cut Pro. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. Audio is a huge part of any project, but far too often we concentrate on the image and ignore the sound. In this short video tutorial, I'll show you how to work with multi-channel audio. Multi-channel means there's more than one channel of audio inside the clip. An example would be an interview where the host is on one audio channel and the guest is on a second audio channel. Again, think double system. Another example is where I have multiple actors, say six actors, each on their own mic and each on their own channel, which keeps everything in sync with the video and all the audio is together in one package. Let me show you how this works. I've had to mock this up because Dr. Surf was recorded before I had the ability to record multi-channel. But here I have Dr. Surf that was shot on a camera and this was recorded on a separate audio device. Now it just looks like there's only one channel here, but if I select the clip and go up to the inspector, notice this setting called audio configuration. To see the whole thing, we'll double click on the the inspector name, which opens it up to be full height. And notice this is set to surround 5.1. If I click this, instead of setting it to surround, set it to six mono, which means show me all the mono tracks. And notice that there are six channels here. The interviewer is on channel log dialog one. The guest is on dialog two. And I have four empty channels, three, four, five, and six. Well, I don't need those channels, so I'm going to uncheck them, which disables them, means they're still attached to the clip, but I'm not going to use them. If I wanted to hear what the host is saying, I could skim over or go down to the guest and hear the guest. So now I have discrete control over the host and the guest. Well, that's in the inspector, but notice that I don't see anything in the timeline. To see the individual channels in the timeline, make sure the clip is selected, go up to the clip menu, and expand audio components. Now I see the host on track one and the guest on track two, and those tracks which are disabled by typing the letter V to make them visible or invisible, those disabled tracks don't appear at all. Now as I play this, I can set the level of the host separate from the level of the guest. And in fact, because I don't want to hear any noise from the guest, I'll just trim this in here. And then with the host, I'll grab this and trim this in here. So now I only hear the host when I want to hear the host and only hear the guest when I want to hear the guest. There's no significant practical limit to the number of tracks that Final Cut can process. It can handle well over a dozen, which is far more than you'll have in most situations. But the cool part of it is each individual track can have its own filter supplied, its own level supplied, can be trimmed separately, can be enabled, can be disabled, can have keyframes entirely different than the other tracks in that same clip. I find myself using multicam I find myself using multi-channel audio. In fact, my webinars are, are four channels of audio. One, it's recorded off the computer. One, it's recorded off the camera. One, it's recorded off the headset mic that I've got. And one, it is sound effects for whenever I click the mouse. So even on simple screen recordings, I can have multiple channels of audio and Final Cut handles it perfectly. This was an excerpt from a recent Power Up webinar covering audio techniques in Apple Final Cut Pro. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 350. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's almost 2,000 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.